Today's video is sponsored by Shopify, but more on that later. Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium and uh, I'm going to discuss, I'm gonna disgust you and I'm gonna disgust me. And that's disgusting because today we're discussing Patricia Pearls, who is the original blue collar 15 hour shift creator. I don't know what that, any of that means, but what I do know is that they are creating things uh, that is legally true. I found out about Patricia because I saw a TikTok that upset me. And again, that is the theme of <laughs> this channel. I saw a TikTok that upset me and now you do as well. And I'm just gonna jump straight into the TikTok cause you'll see exactly what's happening. Look, let me give a little preliminary heads up. A lot of people like to watch my videos while you're eating. Maybe today, don't do that. <laughs> Maybe today eat first or wait 30 minutes after you eat. Cause we're about to jump into a pool of nonsense. Uh, and you don't wanna get a cramp. This one, has the caption, cook my blue collar husband's dinner after his 15 hour shift. So I guess that like puts into context the bio. Right, and so for those of you who are not looking at the video right now, <laughs> maybe you're just like doing your art, looking away. <laughs> maybe you're running an errand and you can't be looking at the screen right now. This woman has taken a perfectly good bag of McDonald's fast food and started frying it <laughs> she started frying the fries so now they're like fried french fries and it's a fried mcdouble she's trying to kill her husband <laughs> she this is like a this is the start of a true crime video actually i'm pivoting to true crime here is how a tiktok creator murdered her husband in plain sight What is up most upsetting to me is that everything here has already been fried. So we've got like refried McDonald's and a disgusting disheveled onion here. Is this even an onion? Maybe this is a metaphor because of how many layers there are to this TikTok. I've got to really peel it all back. She's like when serial killers plant clues about their crimes. This is the Zodiac killer actually. And this is her last job, dude. She came back. She came back and she sent a single onion to the FBI. Cryptographers have been working on this for weeks. Oh, oh great. In a rare turn of events, she is cooking food that wasn't previously cooked. She's cracked an egg. I am gonna be completely honest. I watched about this far into this video and I said, I don't care what else she's done. I'll do a whole Jarvis Johnson Gold video on just this TikTok, on just this 18 seconds. What possesses someone to do this? Just eat the food cold. Don't have a microwave? It's fine. But yeah, the McDonald's fries taste like sand after they reach room temperature, but I'd prefer that to whatever this is. Ah, yes. Salting the fields of pan so that the food cannot flourish. This is so much salt, I got hypertension just looking at it. The waste of food feels bad. No one's eating this. I don't know if this was pre, like we don't know how long this McDonald's had been left out. It could have already been inedible. Anyone who's cooked, when you add too much salt, it's, here's what I always say. You add too much salt, you must halt cooking because you messed it up. I know what you're all thinking. This is just bait. This person just wants you to be outraged. I know, and I don't care. <laughs> I'm enraged, congrats, you win. I just have to take a moment to thank you for joining me today on Jarvis Johnson Gold. We are participating in what is known as the content circle of life. A content creator creates a horrible, outrageous piece of bait content, and then I eat it up thus begetting more outrage content being created for me to react to. Everyone wins and everyone sins. But before we get into that, we have a brief word from today's sponsor, Shopify. Shopify is a commerce platform that allows you to start, grow, and manage your business. I personally have used Shopify for years now for my own merch store. It's very user-friendly with a simple drag and drop store editor, easy to use marketing tools, and a back office that allows you to oversee all of your business operations. It's on that back end where I can 
uh, poke at the analytics. I can learn where orders are coming from. I can concoct my schemes. Shopify, of course, allows you to sell across all major social media platforms with integrations for Google, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and more. Shopify also offers great customer marketing tools like Shopify Inbox and Shopify Email. And if your reach is international, Shopify makes selling across borders easier with Shopify Markets Pro, which can help you with local payment methods, tax compliance options, and more. Head on over to shopify.com slash Jarvis Johnson Gold or use the QR code on the screen to get your free trial of Shopify today. Thanks again to Shopify for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. Okay, so this is uh, entirely too much pepper, which is the alternate name for her channel. Okay, so that was comedy. I think we can all agree all of this is kind of messed up and, and, and really dark and foul, but the slapstick-esque sound of the cheese smacking the egg was pretty funny. I'll give her that. And they say white people don't season their food. Come on. So um, what I'm noticing here is that this is Arby's sauce, and uh, I'm thinking this is McDonald's. <laughs> I, I feel like this isn't allowed. Like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to mix fast food universes. <laughs> this is going to create a rip in the space-time continuum. The space-food continuum. It is interesting to live in a world, like there's a lot of problems in this world, right? There's a lot of problems that we should all, always be talking about, but sometimes it's important to uh, get really mad about something that doesn't matter. And that is what I'm here to do because I live my life day to day. I'm sad. You know, life has its ups and its downs and its challenges. And there's a form of escapism I get when I can just be really mad at a woman who's cooking food badly on purpose. You know what I mean? What is this all for? What does it all mean? No shot, she has a plate that says heartbreaker because that is a double entendre. That's what's gonna happen if you eat the food. This is, she knows, she's perfect. She's done everything. Every frame of painting, dude. In this, I admire like the ability to commit to the bit, you know? We can't see your face, but I'm imagining someone with a complete straight face making this food and serving it to you. And that is actually something I can respect. It's like watching a Rube Goldberg machine <laughs> where it's just like every element of it. How does it perfectly lead to the next step? Bussy. Oh, so she says bussin' afterward? I don't like that. Because she knows that's a lie. You know she is bussin' this directly to the trash can after the camera goes off. Because I do not know, like, if this blue-collar husband exists or if he goes to another school in Canada or whatever. My current theory is that she filmed every video on her channel in one day. She just kept going. She kept running it back. And so it looks like the method here is to stand on a ladder and drop the egg from as high as possible to create the maximum splatter distance, which everyone knows. Everyone knows for a fried egg, you need max splat. You need maximum splatter. Don't don't crack it close to the pan, no. You wanna be in the blast radius of the egg. It allows it to, uh, to take in more of the flavors on the pan and or stove. If it hits the Dr. Pepper bottle, better, good. 23 extra flavors just got added to the egg. Okay, so this does upset me, I'm gonna be honest, because I know that this is like too much salt and it's making this inedible. Ruining a good egg, your honor. Exhibit number one, food food waste alert. Two eggs cracked from on high, cracked from six feet up, ruined by salt. No one's eating that. This TikToker has 150,000 followers. I feel like they could find a way to not waste the eggs. And if you're eating the eggs, I have different questions, mostly for your doctor. <laughs> Oh, it keeps going. That is the longest salt pour I've ever seen. And not to mention, this isn't this is, isn't a salt shaker. This is a salt funnel, dude. Get your umbrellas out, because it's raining salt. You know the little girl on the Morton salt container? This is why she had an umbrella, because of the utter downpour of salt that is occurring right now on this pan. This is the salt that you put into a salt shaker, okay? This is not meant to be applied, or at the very least, put it in your hand, sprinkle a little bit in your hand. Pinch, pinch of salt. This is a Grinch of salt, okay? This is all of the salt. She dropped these eggs down, spooked herself for a second, thought it was a slug, thought it was a snail of sorts, and then threw the salt down as a sort of defensive maneuver, realized halfway that it was eggs. Yeah, this is rough. All right, one trick pony over here. No, there's still paper on the cheese. Is that mold? What are we doing here? 
Patricia, you're losing me. You're losing me quick. Kind of like you're about to lose your husband. <laughs> They don't pay enough on TikTok to be doing this. The creator fund is not <laughs> like that, dude. <laughs> Reconsider, queen. What do the comments have to say about this? Add a little more salt. You forgot the salt. Are you sure you added enough salt? Need more flies. She laughed at that one. Glad to see the Dr. Pepper survived. People love the Dr. Pepper. She just left the ketchup there. What was even happening here? Yeah, well, because you wanted to heat up the ketchup, of course. No, no, no. So this is, you know, sometimes you're eating a warm meal and you want to put some ketchup on and the ketchup's cold. It came out of the fridge, right? And you're like, I don't want to cool down my hot meal. So you got to you gotta heat it up. Bussin'. She actually held that note for pretty long. Bussin'. Bussin'. Sorry, we were having a moment there. All right, all right, all right. So we got a face reveal. Cook my husband's lunch with me as a 28-year-old stay-at-home wife with no kids. Dr. Pepper's here, videos reversed. Onion, destroyed, disheveled. Is that pizza? Hold on, enhance. No. Say it ain't so. What is this? Uh, you start your husband's lunch with a full stick of butter. She's losing me. She's losing me. She doesn't seem particularly enthused about her creation. So far, the the Patricia Pearl's bingo is make sure the food slaps onto the pan. Make sure the kitchen is disgusting. You need a Dr. Pepper bottle in the background. Are you writing this down? <laughs> Are you making your bingo board? Too much oil, too much butter, too much of anything. Put a condiment that is normally not supposed to go on the pan onto the pan. Doesn't even have to touch the food. Remember last time she left a whole s s slop of ketchup on the pan and fried it? Too much salt, too much pepper, too much tuna, too much everything. Don't wash your dishes. It takes away the flavor. It takes away the character. Everyone's got clean dishes. Lame. Stop being a rule follower. So this is like breaking every rule, right? Cause like things cook at different speeds. Sometimes you gotta know when to put things on the pan. Is this a plastic fork? We're just gonna melt the plastic fork. Is that the plan for the plastic fork to melt in the pan? That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Who's gotta show us this perfectly raw steak? Tartar even, <laughs> this shit is not cooked. New uh, theory, she saw a documentary on all of the microplastics that are on our everyday food. And she just wanted to skip a step and go directly to macroplastics by eating the fork. Ooh. Why is there an egg here? Who's eating green beans and eggs? We have green eggs and ham at home. Cooking my blue collar husband his lunch. What's her shirt say? Maybe her shirt includes an Easter egg. Ways to avoid people. Well, I can think of one. Make these TikToks. <laughs> Cook them food, actually. One, earbuds in. Two, silent mode. Three, daydream. Four, avoid eye contact. I mean, these are things I do. If I take a nap, well, yeah. So I'm just curious because she's kind of returned to form here. This is a, uh, you know, sometimes when you have a video pop off, you want to return to what has worked in the past. So is, is it a requirement that the food was already fried first? I for sure thought she was going to put the box in the pan. <laughs> I thought she was really going to think inside of the box, <laughs> actually really throw us for a loop. Wait a second, she's not adding nearly enough salt. This is like deep frying, this is upsetting. Bussin, look at that splash back. That's no cash back. I mean, maybe we can get a grease fire going, guys. Maybe that's what we're going for. I cooked my blue collar husband a well-balanced meal after his 15 hour shift, that's a lie. Big back meals, the hell is that? Fed is best, what is, what is that? Hashtag, hashtag fire, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a second, this shouldn't be fire. This is an electric stove. Uh-oh. God damn it. Oh, oh no! Mm -hmm. Ew. Those are pre-cooked, so that's not that gross. She is smacking into our ears on purpose. Also, the Dr. Pepper has been re replaced with Sunkissed. What is this guy thinking? Homeboy is like, you you cannot fathom the horrors I've seen. If only I still had my body and I wasn't turned into this doll. I used to be a brilliant chef, and now I'm forced to watch crimes against food. Also, it looks like she tried to create a cookie here on the pan. What is this? I am not at liberty to say. It could be beans. It could be a cookie. I don't know. Do we have any theories? New theory. 
re refried beans. She bought refried beans from like a uh, Taco Bell because she doesn't make anything from scratch except for eggs. And uh, she she dumped them into the pan. She fried them in the pan again. And if you refry beans three times, that summons Beetlejuice. <laughs> and, and he, I don't know, he can turn your husband into a tiny little chef or something that sits on your stove. Have we ever stopped to consider that she could be wearing like a VR headset and she's doing some immersive cooking experience where she thinks she's cooking like a five-star meal, but she has no idea what's happening in real life. Maybe she's like jacked in, you know? Oh, that's a tortilla that a bite has been taken out of. Uh, or like a Death Star tortilla. Ew. Ugh. What's that? Paper towel. That's lettuce. Uh, there's a box of Lucky Charms here. Solo cup, wilted flowers. Dude, it must smell crazy in there. A nice balanced meal. Cooking my blue collar husband his lunch for his 15 hour shift at the North Sea Oil Rig. This is lore. Okay, classic hot dogs. That, what does that do? What does that do? Be after a hard day's work. Ew. That's the lunch. I thought she was going to open the Red Bull and pour it into the bag. Because tell me why that would not be the weirdest thing she's done in one of these videos. I feel like the Houston Texans may have something to say about this. <laughs> They're like, why did why we get brought into this? I offer you lunch. What, how do you respond? Cook my blue collar husband his dinner after a 15 hour shift as a certified plumber. Certified plumber boy, certified heart attack. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no. I'm glad to actually see the, the act of the cheese slap. Wait, the pizza's back. Where did you get this shit? How do you have this and why? Every content creator um, need, ha, needs an emotional support pizza slice. I have mine right off camera. It's camera shy, so I don't want to show it to you, but best believe everyone has a, uh, <laughs> a curled up slice of pizza of dubious age sitting right outside of the frame. I don't want to dox it, okay? Because it has a family. This is more than just rage bait. This is like rage bait catches fish. This is like rage spear fishing. I am the prize. I am the bluefin tuna, so to speak. She's out in the sea looking for the million dollar prize. And I'm the million dollar guy. Shout out a million subscribers to Jarvis Johnson Gold. Okay, hold on. So does she, you know how you, with these ketchup uh, containers, you like shake it to the bottom so that you get a good squirt of ketchup? You know what I'm saying? It's like she doesn't do that on purpose so that it makes that, makes that sound. How to cook an egg. Bussin'. Welcome to the Bussin' Good. That's a hilarious way to open a Bussin'. Usually I store my eggs in the cabinets in a cool, dry place. I'm noticing something about her stove. <laughs> Do any uh, keen-eyed viewers notice something about her stove? <laughs> this thing is spick and span. Where's the Patricia Pearls I know? Where's the curled slice of pizza, the Dr. Pepper, the chef? Where are all of our favorite things? Once again, I am sorry, <laughs> my bad. Uh, I've had a continuous lapse in judgment and that has led us here today. Tune in next time where I try to get my act together and, uh, we'll see. Okay. Stay gold, everybody. Bussin'!